So here's how you're going to use the queue. You tap on the queue area and you go to your clinic, current clinic's queue. You can select a clinic here by tapping on the name of the clinic. And depending on the day or your schedule, you can choose which clinic you are in or where you want to schedule the patient at. So all you need to do is tap on the plus button on the left side. You add your patient. Yes, you can select multiple patients here. Say you want to add them in bulk and just rearrange them afterwards. Just add them. Tap on the add button there. You see the four patients there. You can tap on the edit on the right side and you'll see that there are lines that pop up on the right side. So you just hold on the line. You just arrange and drag it down, arrange which patient you want to go first or which patient actually was the first one to book. And you press on the, the done button and that's it. The Q feature is actually one of the most important parts of the Serious Empty Doctors app. Yeah. We studied a lot of Filipino doctors over the years and we noticed that a lot of them just rely on their queue and uh, a lot less rely on their actual scheduling in the calendar. So we went with the queue system first. So as you can see on this queue, it's very um, simple, but at the same time, the technology behind this is rather, is rather complicated. Uh, because we have to factor in multiple devices. A lot of the current doctors right now that use your SMD use multiple devices. They have uh, staff or nurse or secretary that um, handles the queue. And some of them have four to five or sometimes even 10 nurses that handle just uh, their own devices. So you could see how a lot of the data can get messed up. Now with our te syncing technology, it knows wh who to put first because there's a priority. The syncing will always work as long as all the uh, devices are online. When one device fails, don't worry, it will sync again. So uh, the issue there would be just a little bit of delay. If you can't wait for that, just go to the settings field there and just tap on manual sync this big green button here you can see at the bottom it changes and checks the server for new data and that's it when you go back to the queue you should see an updated queue um, another way you could do this is you could just drag it down and it will refresh and it will check the server for new stuff and if someone actually changed it from your uh, from another device you'll see, you'll see the changes here you'll see the added patients you'll see the uh, new sorted order or um, let's say you're using this in your office or clinic you finish a queue an appointment you'll see the status there on the right side that you can see at the bottom it syncs so your nurse will, or your secretary will be able to see it on their side as well so they know that the, the appointment has been has finished and she can actually prep the next patient to go in that's it as usual just contact us within the app Anytime you want, we're here for you. If you need any help, 